Okay. Hello, everybody. We're going to have a bit of a chat about the commute on my way in. A little bit of defensive riding. As you can see, I am here riding into work. Left hand lane, I've got two vehicles in front of me approaching a red traffic light. As we come to this stop, I'm peeping all the way down the road. I don't know whether you can see. But between the, the two white vehicles, I've got the white. Uh, Mitsubishi Triton U in the left hand lane and some sort of N Nissan SUV in the right hand lane. Now, in the distance, we've got traffic between the two vehicles, but these two cars here are, in fact, coming to a stop. So, as we get a bit closer, we'll get a green. I've already spotted at this stage, in the distance, a vehicle in the right hand lane indicating right so for me to go out to the right hand lane would potentially balk me and i'd end up having to stop or slow down the guy in the white nissan on the right hand side or mitsubishi whatever it is has just spotted it as well so he's accelerating now and i've decided to stay he's spotted it so he's accelerated to get in front of the mitsubishi the car is still in the middle lane waiting to turn right and as he turns there now I've got a clear gap to take into the right hand lane of course at this point now we've got another set of traffic lights coming up we've got a pedestrian crossing and a junction here as you can see that's gone to red this white SUV in front of the Triton U on the left hand side started to break the issue for me now is the shopping trolley moment the temptation for matey in the triton on the left hand side to go for the shortest queue rather than do what a lot of people would do here is accelerate or not consider the danger to your left hand side the guy might not have seen you might not see anybody it might just be too keen to get to the front of the queue so what i do as you can see is back off till i'm confident enough that the mitsubishi triton u to my left there is staying in that lane and only until i'm confident that he's going to stay behind the white suv do i then commit to going past that's defensive riding this is why I'd never get cut up. This is why, if you want to survive the roads, you have to think like that, think of that domino effect. Let's take this situation a little bit further down the line. I'll just edge forward. Something else that's good for defensive riding. I'm gonna be turning right here. You see the two lanes to your right behind the bus and the white sedan. I'm gonna come in behind here. Now, of course, behind me, the Golf, he goes straight on. The white car behind him comes in behind him. I think he's going to go into the lane three of four, so basically the left-hand lane of the... behind the bus, basically. He's going to drop in behind the bus. The guy behind him, there's a red... It's actually a Peugeot of some description. You can see that there. He drops in behind me but for my peace of mind look at the gap I've left in front of me here just in case I need to get out and just in case he doesn't see me the red Peugeot or he gets a bit close I've still got a bit of an escape plan in case he goes into the back of me or I think he is doing I'm watching the mirrors once I'm happy that he's I've got him covered I can move forward situation here is I hang back a little bit I've coming up to a right hand turn in the traffic lights we've got a green arrow but I've got a long vehicle bus truck or whatever don't commit to going past long vehicles until you can fully get past before a corner if you've got a corner coming up he's got to cut it I made sure I could get past before I went past to do not go sticks it side of vehicles when they're turning tall long vehicles okay now I'm gonna move us further forward same journey 
let's spin down here. I'm working my way forward here. Now, straight away, I'm in situations where I've got slower moving traffic in front of me. I'm in, the, I'm in lane one of three, and I'm going to be looking at turning left in about five or 600 meters. I've just got to be careful not to sit at the side of vehicles, another white SUV. I will make my progress pass pretty quick to make sure I'm not in his blind spot. Watch the coach. I'm already spotted his indicated. I know for a fact that he's not going to stop there. If he's looking to come across, there's a very strong chance he's going to want to come all the way across. So I'll back off. Sure enough, here he comes all the way over. As we get towards the next set of lights, something else that I've I've considered here, just for info, it was 34 degrees centigrade. I'd, there's a big engine at the back of there. That's me stopped. I didn't want to get too close. There's a lot of heat coming out of that back of that, that bus. Right, edge it forward now. Sat there, Peugeot's still behind me. Still waiting for the bus to go. Green. Bus is indicating left. It goes into what is Peacock Road, south of Adelaide city centre. It's two lanes. But remember what I said about the bus turning. He's got to keep it quite wide to turn. Chances are, a lot of people will go up the inside here. Backed off. I've had a good view up the road now, down the inside. At that point, I've checked my shoulder. I'm going out so I can get a good view of the road from here. Straight away, I've spotted a cyclist and vehicles going slowly and in the distance, you won't quite be able to see it yet, but I can also see another coach. But the cyclist is my first issue. I know for a fact that that coach is likely to come out a little bit. So I can't commit to going past yet. Again, a lot of people would do. The coach is coming up. The coach drive, the, the part coach is coming up. The coach driver in this yellow and blue one Still not really making any effort to come out, but I know he's going to do. He'd already committed before he even indicated. There's your cyclist. And now I'm happy that I'm safe to go beyond him. Just a nice bit of defensive riding. And that's what it's all about, people. Keep safe out there. Thanks for watching.